Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is my 2006 Saab 9.3 Arrow. I haven't had it too long, but I bought it. I'm a big fan of Saab and uh, have wanted one for a while, so I need to change one of the headlights. These are Xenon HID headlights, and from your perspective, the left one is blown. So I need to change that with a new Xenon bulb, and I thought I'd show you how to do that. The easiest way to change the headlight on the right side, and pardon my glove, I actually have a cut under my hand that I'm protecting. So the easiest way to change this is actually to remove the air box. You can get in here, but it's so tight that it's much, much easier if you just take this off. So we have a T25 that we're going to use to undo all of these bolts. I'll show you in a second. And then we also have a 930 seconds uh, socket in order to undo the clamp over here. The first thing I'll undo is this clamp. Just loosen this up. And we'll leave that. Our first bolt is right here, so we'll undo this. And these actually don't fall out. They're attached to the cover. So you just unscrew them as far as they go, and you're good there. We have two more T25 bolts right here and here. This is also a great way to change your air filter because you have to do this anyway. The last one is right here. Now we want to disconnect this pipe, and we can kind of do that by just pulling on it, and we can pull up here, and you can see these are latched in here. Now we have the air filter, which is dirty and needs to be replaced. The great thing is, this just comes right out. So you pull up on here, pull up here, and then you just work this out, and it comes right off. It's just fit in here snug. Now we need to remove this cap. This is just a rubber cap. Get your fingers around it and pull. It just comes off like so. Now on the top right here is the connector. So we're just gonna work this out. Now that the connector's out, we can just simply turn this counterclockwise and pull straight off. This is actually the igniter. There's a circuit board underneath the light that's actually the ballast, but this ignites the actual bulb. So you wanna be careful with this and set this aside. At this point, the bulb's actually pretty easy to take out. We have two metal clips and I don't know if you can see here, but we can move it down and out and it clips out right there. And then you just pull the bulb straight out. This is a bad xenon bulb and you can see inside here that's kind of blown. It's got this white color to it. That means it's bad. So it's time to replace it. To give you an idea, the one on the left is bad, the one on the right is good. These are both 5000K bulbs. And there you can see that hook on the left. I'll just hook it down and around. and it's in place. Now I'll put the igniter back on. Now that the igniter's back on, I can put the cable back. Now that I've tested it and made sure the light works, I'm going to put everything back together. If you want to change the driver's side, you'll actually need to take the battery cover off, which has two clips here normally. You just turn those counterclockwise and they pop right out, but many of these are missing it. So once you remove the battery cover, there's a couple different steps. Once you remove the battery cover, what you'll need to do is remove this piece here. This is the filler neck for the washer fluid, and you just pull and it comes right out. You'll see it just pops right off like that. Once you have that off, it will give you access. Let me show you though, it's pretty tight. So down there is the hole for the filler. We just put this down here like this, and we can use this and push it on, and that's that. We have this that goes down here, like so. It goes on to the battery, and then we can just take this battery cover like this, and put it back in place. 
once it's back in place, that's pretty much it. You can change your air filter during that process, but overall it's fairly simple. It can be a little bit challenging if you have a few other issues, but let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.